Welcome back to Panzer Dragoon Saga. Marauder EX posting this And we are controlling the dragon. This is your main screen. You're going to be seeing this view of the game a lot. This is the equivalent of, I guess, the, the world map? Except it's not the world map. There is a world map where you can get from one place to another a little easier. This is the, the main play map, I suppose is the best way to call it. We've got a little radar uh, indicator, blue there. It tells you which way north is, and then any specific item that you're going after, like those little penguin baskets that I can't really do much with at the moment. The red bar on the right of that is an altitude meter. And the little green dots that show up underneath is the equivalent of your speed. Later on, you get a fourth one that allows you to go a little bit faster. You also get a kind of cruise control option. Setting a speed and it will just go that speed without you having to hold the button down. This is the area map. It allows you to see what's going on. And you get field maps for from treasure chests. From specific looking treasure chests so that you have the... Uh, the layout of the land. Another treasure chest. You can do acrobatics, as you've been seeing me do, of uh, barrel rolls. No, you do not have someone telling you, do a barrel roll! Not Star Fox. But wouldn't that be cool if just, you know, something popped up, do a barrel roll! Anyway. Like any other RPG, it's beneficial to search the entire map to make sure you don't miss a treasure chest. And in this game, it's entirely possible to miss treasure chests really easy. Do a, a flyby of the, uh, the birds sitting there on the rocks. Uh, when you're playing the game, uh, being the first... This is the first area. Uh, there are no random encounters here. There will be random encounters later if you come back here, but right now there aren't. As you know that you're getting closer to a random encounter, your radar gauge will turn from blue to red. You know, cycle through yellow, orange, red. And if it's red and flashing, that means a encounter is imminent but you can get an encounter basically at any point during once it turns orange. Uh, I've had orange encounters before. I don't know if there's any significance about the different types of color determining what type of encounter you have, but it, it's, it's one of those just keep an eye out once you notice that the color starts changing. That is a save point, so if you see the little s swirling energy, Go ahead and save. You never know when you're going to get a chance. Right. This is the menu screen. Uh, it goes through what your items are. It goes through a lot of things, actually. It goes through uh, important items, non important items, items that you can use, and then things that uh, you can't get rid of. Like the soldier guide gives you pretty much uh, back information about your role in the empire, history, things like that. Uh, Berserk list, that's your abilities. This is the dragon screen. Once you actually level up the dragon, you can change the attributes and it will actually physically change the, the appearance of the dragon. Which I think is the coolest aspect of this game. That's, that's pretty much it, because after this, it goes back to yet more cutscene. So, I am going to cut it here. Once you land on the dock, you get a little bit more control for just a few seconds, and then more cutscene. So, I will see you guys in our next part. Take care.